Hello, Hello and welcome to the non Greg Sterlis Greg Sterlis show, except only the substitutes. I am your host. That's right, your host, the Pamazon. And we have some other fine people here. And who is up next? Fine. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of a stretch. <laughs> It's okay, maybe. I mean, maybe some of the other guests are, but let's not let's not kid ourselves. I'm like a grade B minus at best. You're pretty fine. All right. I'm fine. Uh, there we go. Who likes trans girls with square faces and deep voices? Your voice isn't that deep. I no, think my it's voice not. is like, deeper. Yeah, it is so <laughs> really Actually, yeah. like the depth of my voice is mostly an affectation that I picked up trying to fit in with guys. Ah, okay. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the duds! Duds! Yes! Duds, 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 duds. My favorite thing! My favorite duck! Woo! Do you guys like Disco Duck? I like Disco Duck. I don't disco. know what Disco Duck is. No. Disco that is duck. the worst duck ever. <laughs> Fine, Dudley. I'm sorry. I like Disco Duck. So something you often bought a penny. I like ducks because I am one. And yes, I like ducks, Disco. Ducks. Because? Because it's Disco. Yes. Ah. But no, not Disco Duck. Fine, I'm sorry, Dudley. I didn't know you didn't like the Disco Duck. Anyway. <laughs> I, I think Disco Duck, he's, he's all right. He's just dancing. So were you aware, because you've always bought this up to me, you're always like, oh my god, Kirk Douglas is 103. Yeah. He died today. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, sorry. So the last one standing is Olivia de Havilland at 103. And then there's some other more obscure person who was born in 1914 who's been in movies and still alive. 1914. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, that's a little while. Crazy. Wow. I mean, it was only like, well, like 75 years before I was born. But that doesn't seem. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's kind of. 1914 wild. seems a long time ago. <laughs> Like there wasn't electricity and I mean, there regularly, was, just regularly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people still mostly had. I think they they had horses and buggies mostly. Cars I feel like that was the transition period. Batteries. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Electric yes. cars came out before gas cars. Yep. External steam powered cars before vehicles. that. <laughs> right. You see those crazy steam powered cars from the 1700s? Those are pretty funny. Oh, because we've been to the steam. Are you talking about the like, like giant things that were unsteerable and crashed through walls? Yeah, those are yeah. entertaining. But they, we we've been to the steam engine. What's that thing called? Uh, steam and gas show. Steam and gas show. It, the is that what it's called? Isn't it got some fancy name? The one that's got the like uh, the it's like in. The, country yeah and it's hot as hell <laughs> and there's this lumbering giant things made of big chunks of iron yeah just going <laughs> ka -chum, ka -chum, and like ka -chum. moving about that fast it's if yeah. you were thinking of taking foot steps it's like seeing giant uh, mechanical dinosaurs right. oh absolutely oh, yeah. <laughs> douglas is like i can't eat this slop and he just starts throwing shit See, I knew you'd start talking Kirk Douglas. It's, what what it's movie is that from? I don't remember. I just oh. think it's funny. Okay. I just like watching like best of quotes where he gets all pissed off and angry. And it's very entertaining. He's just like this. One hundred and three. That's pretty. That's that's a long time. It's, it's a while, I guess. I well, mean, for I humans, it's a while. Yeah. No, Not funny. if you're a tortoise or certain kinds yeah. of fish or, or yeah. trees. What was that lady that died in France? Like one hundred and forty-eight or something. Whoa, what? Really? I Come on. No. Look it up, I think so. I feel like both dogs and, and, and humans I've just generally... Deadly to find like, the facts. Yeah, I think it was either 148 yeah. or 128. We mature so slowly my, my that, that the, oh, lifetime sorry. We, the lifetime we get is too short to figure our shit out <laughs> half the time. Especially That's if you're true. Doggo. <laughs> I don't think doggles are trying to figure out too no, much. No, but than they don't have time to figure it out. They don't have time there's anything to figure out. How do They're I only eat? as smart as, like, two- and four-year-olds. How do I eat John's Chipotle? That's yeah, one thing exactly. I try to figure Minus out. Minus the spinach. <laughs> Minus the spinach. <laughs> like, like, I feel like a dog, like, if you gave it the ability to, like, live forever and it just wouldn't get sick... Like, people would get tired of living. They'd get bored. A dog would be happy forever. And be like, oh, I've been around for two billion years. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I used to have a teacher that claimed he could walk to Mars. 
<laughs> what? Yeah, so. <laughs> We're like, woo? <laughs> yeah, he, it was really fascinating. He would, like, in-depth describe it. It was really weird. He said he learned it from Rolling Thunder. It was very weird. What's Rolling Thunder? Some, yeah. Some, like, shaman. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, so I knew you you had mentioned repeatedly the, how old Kirk Douglas was. So it was very sad to see that he had, you know, not I mean, made it to 104. It's sad, but it's not, like, surprising. No, no, that's true. I mean, you're on borrowed time by that point, yeah. I love that. That's one of my favorite John Lennon songs. Living on borrowed time. That's such a good one. That's like when John Lennon's songs from the 80s are like my favorite, which is really only like one year. Didn't your grandmother, didn't you have a grandmother who lived for a very long time? My great-grandmother was about that old. Was she? My yeah. great-grandmother made it about that far, too. My, gra- my, my grandmother made it to 95. She would have turned 96 in another month. I don't actually ever remember meeting her, but I remember being in her house, and it was a little, little kid, so I remember everything being really big. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and smelling like old people. <laughs> Everything in my grandmother's house smelled like you were refinishing a floor because she was an antique dealer and always refinishing furniture oh, and it okay. gave it that just perpetual smell. And she was also a baker, so you had the smell of things baking too. Baked yes. furniture. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check out my new song. It's on the 50th release for Lost Notes Media. It's pretty cool mm-hmm. it's you can check it out look up lost notes media as well they're very fun what's this song called on the altar of yahweh in the temple at nazarene oh although i might remove don't that catch me yawning. i'm sorry because i think it's just at the temple of yahweh i it's ate some cool. bad food yesterday and today i'm not 100 percent I mean, it tasted very delicious, but my body didn't think it was so hot. I I just got groceries yesterday, and I hadn't had some for a while, so I just kind of gorged myself on shitty kid cereal. (laughs) So I'm not feeling great either, but, you know. Oh, yeah, that's good. That peep cereal looks so nasty. It's chocolate, chocolate. The peep cereal? No, peep cereal? I was going to say, that looks nasty. No, 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 I'm talking about... I've never seen uh, peep cereal. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, I love Cocoa Krispies. You've got some Cocoa Krispies downstairs, don't you? I yeah. think I can actually eat those. I think they're good. Yeah, free. yeah, yeah, they are. What also See, is... They're, they're not <laughs> part of a balanced diet or a balanced meal, but... It's part of a complete breakfast. Yeah, yeah they're not yeah. part of which a complete is, breakfast. Which is... Even if it wasn't, it would still be a complete breakfast if you didn't have the cereal. Oh, yeah. I just I want, like, it, yeah. the most, like, old-fashioned, like, very hardcore breakfast. Like, all I want is, like, grape nuts... And I like grape shredded nuts. wheat, no sugar in any of it. Oh well, you're not going back far enough. You got to go back before they like figured out cornflakes and stuff. When when like cereal was still like a giant brick of bran, you had that to, like, was break invented apart. That sounds in good Dansville, too. New York, my hometown, <laughs> invented granola, and it was a big brick that you had to soak. And then um, I think it was Kellogg came along and was like, hmm, wait well, it a minute. Was Kellogg's brother? Oh, was his brother? His brother was working and never got the credit for it. But, like, so the the corn got a little moldy, and he was like, eh, whatever. And he, because it was, like, tired and fed up with yeah. shit at that point. And he, and he put it through the, like, press anyways, and it came out all flaky. And he's like, yeah! Well, when I was a kid, we were often too for, poor to afford real cereal. So we, we would just take a loaf of white bread and put it in milk. Oh. And that was cereal, which, oh. is, which is better than you would think. Hmm. I remember I bought. That's pretty poor. Yeah, it's pretty poor. We're pretty I, I, poor. I mean, I've been I've been to the same in the same boat, but mine was. So wait, 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 wait! You actually had a milk sandwich. <laughs> pretty much, it was pretty good. Sometimes you put milk on it if you. I mean, you put a you put a sugar, sugar on it if it was. If milk really toast. Getting... That's called milk toast, I believe, is what you're describing. Powder toast is also very good. If you have that. <laughs> Powder. Toast. I remember buying the generic yeah, grape yes, nuts, and they were called Nutty Nuggets. <laughs> How is grape nuts even a copyrighted term? <laughs> they were called Nutty Nuggets, I swear. And I had them at work, and my students were like, what the fuck is this Nutty Nuggets I mean, shit? grape nuts aren't even nuts, though. <laughs> They're not, but... Well, I've seen some that are, like, just as bad that are, like, Choco cracks or yeah. something, and it's like, yeah. ooh, oh, 
Yes, it's true. The generic name game is not strong. No. <laughs> It's kind of like a bad version of the, like, what What would the parody porn of this be called? Yes. Yeah. Nutty Nuggets. Nutty Nuggets. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, I don't know. I like my... We were poor and that, like, if we didn't eat our... Like, I remember I had to go to the bathroom really bad. And the food had just been served and I couldn't hold it. I ran in the bathroom and I came back. And my food was all gone because my brother and sisters ate it all. And there wasn't any more. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. Like, see, I, I only had the one sister who is younger than me by exactly to the day a year and a half younger. But it's basically my older sister who beat me up and stuff. But we didn't live in the same house for years, so I didn't have to worry about it. Oh. But, like, my equivalent of milk toast was, like, canned clams and ketchup. Ooh. And, like, Ew. brown schweiger. <laughs> I actually love clam chowder, but I don't eat the clams. I think they're too chewy. But I love the flavor. I love the flavor of Snow's clam chowder. That's like one of my favorite things. I have actually had clam chowder in the land of clam chowder. Where's that? Newest of England's? <laughs> yes. <laughs> was it good? I, thought, I mean, I was I 12. Thought, I, thought I thought it was, it was amazing. <laughs> What's that, Dudley? I thought that, that was Manhattan. Uh, well, Manhattan clam chowder I do also like, too. You don't find it as much. What's the difference? It's more stuck up. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's more like just like a thin broth. It's not like oh, the okay. real creamy Ew, stuff. Oh, okay. no. Bad. Wrong. Yeah, that seems wrong to me as well. I like it, it but it's not. It's not even not... a chowder. No. no. No, that's true. Chowder is supposed to be thick. Yeah, you pretty much never see it ever. It's, I don't know. It's got big chunks of vegetables in it and stuff. Like, I guess if you're going to... It's sort of right up there with, like, Chicago deep dish pizza, which... Is pizza, but like, there are people who be like, ah, oh, it's not pizza, it's like lasagna because it's so thick or something. But like, I mean, if you're gonna call pizza a pie, could you gotta go deep dishes pizza too. I've been That's, dreaming of that Pharaoh's yeah. pizza. I keep wanting to go there. I love that place. Which place? Pharaoh's. I keep oh. thinking. Of, I know everybody thinks oh, it's they have, meh, but I like that place. They have deep dish pizza? No, I just like oh. their pizza. <laughs> There's only okay. a couple of places around here that have their gluten free pizza. pizza is very cheap, which was which is Ooh. nice. It's not the best one. But the best one is really expensive, but it's very good. But Is that? Yes, jo Johnny's, Johnny's has the best. Yeah. But, I mean, Pharaoh's is like six bucks for gluten-free pizza. Pie, get six bucks, here you go. I, I, you I, can't buy one in the store for cheaper than I'm that. always slightly afraid of picking up deliveries from Lenovo. Like, I don't want to fuck up a delivery that I'm picking up from Lenovo. <laughs> Their gluten-free pizza is good. Oh, it is. Well, course, I just don't want to fuck up a delivery I got from there. Ixnay on the mob, eh? Yeah, I love the mob. It's great. Do you know this mob family I know in, in Los Angeles? It's like, damn. Oh, it's shut up. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and then he started farting, and this guy's like, Oh, that's nasty! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh no! Like, this place is terrible. All I wanted was a free sample, and this free sample was like an entire like bunch of chicken wings and a. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and then when I took him to Tim Hortons and he wanted a free sample of a giant thing of Sprite, and when they gave him water, he spit it out and said he was getting ripped off. <laughs> This is terrible. I'm never coming back here again. I mean, why would anybody need to sample Sprite? I mean, maybe some other things, sure. That was just his code right. like, for like, I'm famous, give me this for free. Right. Like, unless it's a greasy spoon in a small town where they obviously have fiddled with the tap, so it's using as little syrup as possible, oh, yes, it's all yes, going to taste yes. the same. We've all had that. I like it like that. Though. I actually, yeah, prefer it that way now. it's not as sweet. Yeah. I don't even like Sony Pop anymore. Other than some, I like Tab. I like Fresca. Oh my I gosh. like Jones Soda. I, I forgot like... about Tab. My really? grandma used to drink that. I used to like Tab. Yeah, Better. my grandma drank that one. I had some What's the some day? other of those good. old school ones? Oh, oh gosh. I, my, um, my favorite Fresca, is Moxie, tab. personally. Fresca, Tab. Um... Uh, is there any more? Yeah. There are, sure. what's, uh, uh, oh, oh, Mellow Yellow. Oh my goodness. Forgot about I that one. I do like one. Mellow Yellow. Moxie, I do. That's my favorite. But you can't really find it. No, it's not around here. The only place I ever found it was in New England and also in Southern California. Oh, good oh. to know. Good to know. Cause I like. I, like I also Verner's is also my second favorite. Any kind of birch beer. I I am big fan of Jones just because they're weird flavors and like I don't get soda very often. And 
I like that weird yeah. stuff, fet- Fetnamans. That's, the, that's, like, well, anything by them, that's totally off the... That stuff's really like good. Like the carbonated rose lemonade. That I like the dandelion. Oh, it's really good. I like good. the dandelion Wait, where soda. Where you get this? At Big Lots. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> they also yes. have it at Tops I'm or Wegmans. I'm so down yeah. for that. Yeah. They probably have it other places, but it's, that's where I've seen you it. You just gotta look. It's like kind of in an off section usually. You gotta find it, but it's really good. This I like the dandelion one. The one you were just saying is my other one. I yeah, mean, and they have birch beer instead of just root beer, which let, whatever. I don't be, know if that's different. I don't know. Let's, let's be real. I think better than root beer, but I do like it really good different. root beer. No, oh, birch beer is different than root beer. Yeah, yeah. if it's good. Yeah, yeah it was, it's good. Um, but like, uh, no, I was gonna say, let's be realistic. We all still like soda. We just don't like soda with sugar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, there's a really fascinating video of this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or that tastes like making onions. Or that tastes like onions. <laughs> homemade cola, and it looks so good. He's like. If you make it the way, like, you just all like this, it's super lemony, and it looks so good. Oh, that sounds good. Did you know that Mountain Dew was actually supposed to be, like, a mixer for, like, oh. like kind of, for, like, adding to booze and stuff? It was never meant to be drinking straight. I remember the first time I had Mountain <laughs> Dew. I was in the Anirondacks Mountain, actually. I was in a little tiny place where I could see New York City, but it wasn't in New York City. It was pretty far from it, but you could see it off in the distance. And I remember this waitress was like, do you want to try Mountain Dew? And I was like... For set, and mm-hmm. next thing I know, it's like, oh, I like this. It's really good. It is, and you know, and I just remember that I was 1993. My dad used to drink Mountain Dew when I was a kid. Not all the time, but like, I mean, he definitely had like, uh, like a Wyoming County summer teeth there for a uh-huh. while. <laughs> some are there, some ain't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, but uh, Mountain Dew teeth. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, he, he, they're all, he's got new shiny teeth now, so it's all good. So it's all good, um, yeah. But like, he'd always be like, oh, you should try Mountain Dew. I always thought it was disgusting. It was like My dad tasting, has no teeth. It was like drinking sugar piss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, well, I remember when they were. Um, Mountain Dew is moonshine. Yes. <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew is the grossest thing ever. It is the most disgusting thing I can even imagine. Mountain Dew is just generally disgusting. It is, <laughs> but when you make it diet, that's even weirder. I remember they were doing, um, they oh, were like trying to, Dew. you know how they would go out to small towns and different places with new products to kind of uh-huh. taste test them, and they were doing combos. And I was like, what is this oh, nasty, like disgusting shit? I did not like them. Like crap ass cheese is supposed to be in there. What the heck mm-hmm. is that? I, I like did the not like it. Ones. Uh, I used to like them as a kid, but I don't really like them anymore. Also, they're like the official snack of NASCAR, so I don't really want to. Oh, snack really? On them. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know they were still going. I, f- I I feel like if I eat them, I'm gonna have to be like, I'm turning left, I'm turning left, and be really excited about it for about <laughs> six hours. <laughs> well, I like Junior Mints a lot. Those are, Those are okay. Oh yeah, me too. I have Junior Mints. Uh, no, nope, I ate them all. Never mind. They're very, they're a very cute candy. They're so tasty. <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything with like a cute box or like an adorable mascot or something. I usually like I usually like my 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 chocolates and stuff fancy, but there there's some crap candy that I still like. Occasionally. I like raisinets. Yeah, yeah raisinets. They have I still nice like milk chocolate duds. on them. Yeah, unless cool. unless I got yeah, them from Wegmans and then biked through this weather to the coffee shop I was going to hang out at while waiting for orders and bit into one and nearly broke a tooth because it was <laughs> rock hard. It was frozen, yeah. <laughs> this is like the least relevant topics ever and it's so fun. This is exactly <laughs> like what I would so. want to watch though. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like completely pointless. You could just zone out and be like, oh, this isn't these we, people talking about like soda. Me and, and May, we candy. were talking about chicken and biscuit crackers. You remember them? Oh, yeah, that's like gross. <laughs> <laughs> They're real weird. They're real weird. Uh, weird. Well, at They're least super weird. Uh, the wafers, uh, the, the the pink and and chocolate and vanilla ones. That like what you were, they're like Necco wafers. Necco wafers. Yes, I love those. I love Necco wafers. <laughs> but now oh, imagine the man- monstrosity that would be chicken and biscuit Necco wafers. No, no, no. no. <laughs> what is that? I think Billy Wonka would just I, come in with a cantana and just like behead whoever invented it. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked the brown ones and the black ones because they were like licorice and That's chocolate really and the root beer flavors. Yeah, I like Sky Bars. Oh, I love Sky Bars. That was my go-to when I was a kid. Do they even make those anymore? Yes, they do. They do, okay. Yeah. 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 I am what a was big... the company? Company. It was I a weird remember. company. It wasn't like one... No, it is a weird one. I saw a video on that. Yeah. It's, it's I'm a... a big fan of Coffee Crisp. I don't think I've ever had a Coffee Crisp. Had either. 
Well, I next, know, right? I next know time I'm gonna like walk across the board. peace bridge. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a coffee crisp. There's there, my dad. My dad's like, I'm going to the duty free store today. Last <laughs> week, I'm like, oh yeah. He's like, yeah. You know why? I'm like, coffee crisp. He's like, yeah. <laughs> like I don't think you need any more of those. I, what, what was the Sky Bar brand though? That's it was killing me. Weird. It was something weird. It was like. Does anybody have I don't any know. I don't squares. have my phone, so I, I have uh, my information. Uh, my large my inf information rectangle is geriatric and sleeping currently. And also, the internet wasn't working for me. No matter what I did, I think I should reset it. Is Neko a brand? Or? Neko is a brand, and they took it. Did they do over, the Sky Bar? I think so. They, yeah. I don't think they originally did. I think they took over the company that did it. The Maid Sky So it's still technically a different company making it, but Neko now owns that company, I've heard. Oh, okay. I, know, I know this may be a unpopular opinion to have, uh, speaking on cookies and snacky things. and Like, I do like Oreos. Don't get me wrong. Especially double stuffed ones, because yeah, I'm a sucker for cool. frosting. But I actually like Hydrox cookies, the ones that great. inspired Oreos. Better. Those are great. They're so good. I never liked like the double crunchier. stuff. I didn't want all that cream. In fact, I would squish some of the cream out when I was a kid. Oh yeah. yeah I was. I They're wanted the cookie. Milk, yeah. Cookie. Well, what is the one? Popcorn? Well, now they got one with even more stuff in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. Um, one of my partners brought it over for my birthday because I jokingly said, "Just like, what? What do you want? I'll get you a cake or whatever." And I jokingly said, "Like a box of Oreos and a tub of fr fudge frosting." And they're like, really? I'm like, no, not really. And then just brought it anyways. I'm like, well, I guess I have to I, eat these. I, Whitney yeah. makes yeah. the best like, pudding that tastes like Oreos. Who I does? Whitney. She makes it oh, whenever Whitney. I see okay. her. And it, she says it's something she learned from her mom or something. But it's so good. It just tastes like Oreos. It tastes like, I don't know. It's like somehow like sugar, less sugary Oreo. Filling. There used to be these cookies you could buy that were basically like the Oreos, but they had a little bit of cor coconut in them, and they were very thin. Mm -hmm. I don't see those. And ever. then I know what that is. Yeah, and my mom would make whipped cream, and then she'd fill the layers with real whipped cream, put mm -hmm. whipped cream on the outside, and freeze it. That oh, was really good. So good. What's that yeah. popcorn you were talking so about? So good. Or the chips? I'm sorry. Charles chips. Yeah, I want to get those. They're in a can. Well, now I just want a bag of um, caramel cheddar popcorn. Caramel cheddar popcorn. That sounds. No, see, because <laughs> it, it came out of the thing, of the, like when you'd get the big tubs for Christmas as like a kid, and they'd be like divided into thirds, and the divider would get slightly loose, and so you yeah. get caramel with the, oh, the yes, cheddar. Yes. And now it just comes bagged that way, and I love it because I used to like pull that out intentionally and then get yelled at for everybody mixing all the popcorn together. <laughs> well, do you guys know about the time I accidentally threw that Charleston shoe in that guy's sun sunroof? Ooh, Pap, your breath is no. terrible. I think I told you. I think you guys still would stop laughing that one time when I was, like, eating the Charleston shoe. And oh, yeah, and it, something scared you and yeah, it jumped and, I, and it, like, and flailed it, it, and it landed the inside this yeah. guy's sunroof in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and like it was a whole bunch of Charleston shoes, <laughs> and, and it was in the it was in the parking lot over on Delaware, oh, over gosh. at the Right Aid. I don't think I was there, was I? Uh, no, this was like yeah, it was like yeah, I don't ago. remember I like, this. I'm no, just this saying. was like over I think a decade you've, ago. Yeah, okay. I think you've even told this on the show before. Yeah, I think I, I have. Remember. I was sitting there with my friend Joe. And we were trying to record a Cyber Peanut album in the in the so so it's actually you can hear this on one of the Cyber Peanut. I think it's on Electric Peanut Paradise. You can hear me scream. <laughs> is it Charles is it supposed is is it supposed to sound like uh like a slight misspelling of a product that would be sold sold at a sex store? Uh, it could be. I never thought of that. <laughs> I mean, the next album we're releasing, which is coming out soon, is called uh, Peanut Party Playhouse. <laughs> well, cause Cyber Peanut and like Electric Peanut kind of sound. It, like, it does. Yeah, a little it bit. goes. What's the first? The first Cyber it's like Peanut auto corrected. Album? There's so many Cyber Peanut albums. There's I'm Fine Thanks, then it goes into Old Man Nevin Shed, then it's Third Chamber, then it goes... These are all really good. I was just listening to these today. Then it's Electric Peanut P Paradise, then it's... God, I can't remember the fifth Cyber Peanut album. Then there's a very Cyber Peanut Christmas. There's so... I can't remember them all. There's like a billion. There's 35 and Looking Fine. There's... Legit. There's hey, so many. Oh, oh, oh. Salt and I wound. resemble that remark. <laughs> Why? I just turned to 34. I'm not 35, but I'm close. I'm looking fine. Well, that's a good thing. 
Well, that was just something somebody said to me once, and I was oh. like, that's a great line. <laughs> I've been looking fine. It's just... I just want to say that every time somebody says something now. Like, as I, <laughs> like when I'm real old, it's like, you look pretty good for your age. I'm like, yeah! Well, in the, in the song, I claim to be 49, but I mean, I'm clearly only eight and a half years old. So. <laughs> but You're very sophisticated for eight and a half. I suppose so. <laughs> but I don't very, know. very sophisticated. Yes, but the song, it has nothing to do with the real person. The song is just about, like meeting someone who's like a dental hygienist and then they go on to become does she have a special tattoo on her arm yes that's where i got that from okay <laughs> but so you left your charleston shoes in the car right you well how was it gonna you? hey hey uh, excuse me sir i'm sorry i threw on my charleston shoes in your sunroof can i get those <laughs> oh no so someone had a bunch of mystery candy just sitting in their car. <laughs> well, they probably had a b- bunch of mystery liquid bags. Uh, yeah, because it probably got it was hot out, right? Yeah. If they had their yeah. sunroof open. <laughs> oh, dear. Where are these tiny little bags of, ah, molten chocolate? <laughs> I remember my sister made cookies once. And she was trying to make these, like, vanilla cookies that were powdered. You probably had them before. Mm-hmm. But she did something wrong, and they were, like, real hard and bad. <laughs> and so we gave them to the dog. And the dog took them outside and buried them. <laughs> <laughs> the dog was like, no, Dog's I'm like, not. like, nope, put it out of his misery. Yeah, I'm not eating this. <laughs> uh, smart dog. Yeah, I remember what the name of that damn fifth cyberpeer is. Uh-oh, now you're going to ask him to bug you. It's driving me nuts, because it went, it was, there was uh, Electric Peanut Paradise, and then... Uh, pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel in his pants. Me crazy. I heard that on a boop, Blood boop. on the Dance Floor song once. <laughs> Arr, it's me driving maybe. me nuts. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not, it's steering them. Uh, yeah. Bad joke. It's not. Uh. Terrible. I mean, I, check out at least Salt in the Wound. I think that's very funny, just hearing, like, lo-fi acoustic, like, metal. It's very funny. <laughs> it's very... Just, like, one person on guitar and me talking and, like... Damn, what is that? There's so many good Cyber Peanut songs. I feel like nobody knows any of my Cyber Peanut, and it's like I have so many Cyber well, Peanut albums. the style of music they used to do in the in medieval times where it's like... Duh, 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 I know that, that song. Like... That like like that that like doing covers of metal songs or like really fast music like that would be hilarious. I, I've done that song uh, similarly. I've done that song along with. I have a whole album of medieval songs that I did that are. It's called Medieval Sausage. <laughs> because uh, my, when I release stuff solo, typically I call it Captain Johnny Sausage. Mm-hmm. So, but I, I did a whole album of medieval covers, and I want to make a, a sequel to it because I mean they're all copyright free, and I love medieval songs. They're so good. Green Sleeves was written by, of course, Elizabeth the First, and it's one of the most famous songs of the Elizabethan area era. And well, yeah, because the freaking person whose era it was named for wrote it. Well, yeah, that's true, but. I, I think it's a great song. I'm the queen. I will be the pop star. <laughs> yeah, that's Apparently. how it was with King Henry VIII. King Henry VIII, even though he's crazy, obviously, he's got some amazing songs. And some of the best medieval music are all written by Henry. Hmm. Hmm. I did I not did know. know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I listen to There's so many cool playlists of King Henry VIII's stuff on, like, YouTube and Spotify. Oh, we're, we're coming up on. We're coming up on the end soon. John Barleycorn must die. Traffic does an amazing version of that. I is love that it. a traffic is one of my favorite King products. Henry VIII. That one's just sort of unknown. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you seen that um, like music video on YouTube where like the two guys with uh, cellos, two cellos, like uh, like do a cover of uh, Aerosmith, uh, like but they're like the setting and everything is all like baroque. Yeah, I think that's a cool and, video. Yeah. Well, they yeah. It's yeah. I like there was that. a it's band that was a women in cellos and. Maloria, the woman was named Maloria? Z- but Z- what was the band name? Um, I don't remember. Uh, I'm too tired right now. Avant Garde sampled uh, remixed cello uh, Zoe Keating. I always liked her stuff. Used to pet sit for her parents. I think she might have played with the same woman, actually, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like what it the would heck be. What the heck was it. her name? 
My friend stepped on her dress and ripped it. She got really mad. <laughs> oh. oh well. Well, anyway, call us. I tell forgot us your her name. Yeah, tell candy. us who that band is that I can't remember right now. Yeah. <laughs> call us. <laughs> 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 Standard calling rates may apply. But <laughs> 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 may make your hair fall out and your testicles drop. Well, I, yeah, what? no one's gonna call us now. <laughs>